All right, I actually kind of like this opener. We're going to have a weird magpie, but I think we... I think we do do this, and I put those two the wrong way around. I don't know why I'm freezing bacon, because that is the only thing that can show up at this tier. <laughs> All right, let's be the shiny balls. I see no reason not to. Yeah, it's weird. They removed blueberry, which I kind of agree with, because it wasn't really doing anything, but... It's also... yeah. Damn, we actually got a trade. I thought we might, like, lose by two things when I first saw that. Currently in revision hell. Oh, no. It's been a while since I had to revise, but I wish you... I wish you both luck then. Cutie, hello! Maybe the bacon tastes better when cold. I hope not. Well, I, I guess I hope so, but... That's only if it tastes even better than regular bacon. But yeah, look, it's the only thing. This, <laughs> there is no other food. Uh, the question is whether I... I don't know. I think I want to save two gold. Because you get a heart back on turn three if you've lost HP. So I can probably throw this round and let my magpie save me some stuff if I need. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we can save three then. Alright, I'm completely ready for a loss. I do not mind at all. I'm just going to run it like this. Save me all my money. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Taking advantage of the new health system. The patented golden one turn food. Oh god, hold on. Got a one pack one. I can't, I can't read. T1 food. Yes. It is the only one. <laughs> and why did they change it to four hearts? They've changed it to four hearts, but on turns three and five, this magic happens. Oh, you reached turn three with a lost life, gain one back. So now I'm max lives again. If I had full HP, I wouldn't have gained that, so... Yeah, and now I can, like, combine all my magpies and... See for what we get. I hate the surgeon fish. Oh, no. Uh, I probably buy... No, I do buy both of these as they are, I think. I was wondering whether I sell something. And I'm tempted. I'd love to buff up the magpie and I could sell Cone Snail Silk Moth, but... That might be too big of a risk, so I'm gonna take both of these. I want it to hit here or here. And it hit there anyway! That is amazing. <laughs> we can just, like, buy another one. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of the Silk Moth. No, get rid of the Cone Snail, buy separate Penguin. And then, what, roll once or twice? I like that buff. That is good. I do not care about this. Alright, let's see. I'm going to run it like this. My Surgeon Fish isn't actually doing anything, because we don't have Trumpet Generation. But, I think it's all good. They removed you? They did, Blueberry. I'm sorry. And Terry, hello! Tomorrow's a public holiday and you're feverish. Oh no. I hope you're okay, Terry. Hope it's nothing serious. You like the other... Wait, the other health system a lot more? Which one, though? The, like, the current live version? Or the version that was just before this, where you, like, is capped at three and your turn number and the number of enemy pets? <laughs> and how do trumpets work? Uh, well, the basics are there's a load of different pets that either give you trumpets by some means or another. And then there are other things that use trumpets, like the Surgeon Fish, where it's like, it spends trumpets and gives a buff. But if you have trumpets left over and you don't have anything to spend them, then what happens is when you have one pet left, a Golden Retriever will get summoned with the stats of the number of trumpets you have. So if you have like five trumpets left over, then you'll summon a 5-5 five five Golden Retriever. Which is actually pretty good, and I feel like a lot of the time it's better than the, the uses for it. Uh, anyway, I'm wondering if I do take a stoat. I think it's a stoat. I've been saying stout a lot because I don't know if I've heard it IRL, but... I think it's stout. I need to Google. Alright, anyway, I don't want any of this. I want to save gold, though, because, again, if we lose HP again, then we get to... We get our HP back, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so we're all good there. I think I kind of hard roll for a penguin, maybe. If I can get that leveled up, that'd be really nice. And say so buy bacon. There's no good stat food here. Like, I could try and buff the magpie a bit, and that wouldn't be too bad. Come on, one penguin. No penguin. Alright. Although, I do get, like... I could roll once more, sell Silk Moth, but I think I just buy the bacon. Buy the bacon, put it on here. And I'm going to run it. I'm going to run it like this. So we save two gold for next turn. Not bad. Why is <laughs> the tag sleepy snack? Because I'm tired. I've been getting... You guys know I get bad sleep, but I've been having especially bad sleep recently. Like, for one thing, my cat's actually been waking me up a lot. She's been sleeping in my room. She's actually on my bed right now. Yeah, I see you. She can't see me, though. She's asleep. 
But yeah, she keeps coming in and like scratching at my door at like 4 a.m. When I get woken up, I can't I can't do stuff. Cat cam? I don't have a cam connected. I can maybe take a picture and send it to the Discord. <laughs> Which I actually did do recently. Uh, anyway, Guinea Pal, it maybe gives a reason to have this, but how would I buff this? Lettuce is okay. If I'm buying any of these foods, it's going to be a lettuce. You need to see Sleeping Kitty. Uh, I'll take a picture. Hold on. Uh, she's facing the other way, though. She's just kind of like a lump of fluff at the moment. Hold on. I'll take two. I have to take off my headset. One moment. Alright. I've returned. Uh... Give me a second to send some of those to the <laughs> to the Discord, I guess. Alright, super real pets. And I'm just like wasting loads of time doing this and I don't have to get it on the stream, but whatever. They'll be there. You <laughs> wait, cat, I see you. They're sending. Alright, it's it's basically done. I'm gonna drop my phone again. Okay, okay. He's gone, panic. No, no cat no panicking. Alright, I'm going to sell the Silk Moth. We're definitely not keeping this. There's a bit of synergy here, but I don't care. And I don't care about the Royal Flycatcher either. We roll. Uh, I think the Magpie stays. I don't mind buying that again. Can we do that? I, I think we're definitely buying a Penguin. I think I just buy... Do I put it here? No, I, I still put it on there. It's more like to hit one of those. So, yeah, buy this. I don't hate that hit. Okay. And Surgeon Fish is behind it, which is good. And yeah, let's just send it then. <laughs> fluffy baby. She is extremely fluffy. The weird thing is, like, you'd think they'd start shedding less in winter, but every time I, like, pet her, there's just fluff everywhere. It's actually awful. <laughs> Give her a little kiss. Nah, she's sleeping. I don't want to mess with her. Mm, I do enjoy double weasel and then I can maybe buy a lettuce and buff up like a few things the thing is I want to buy the penguin next turn it's like sell this penguin and wait for a different one for a combo <laughs> mm. yeah I don't know maybe I do just combine the thing is the tier fives are so much better like if I get well the Nile is really good white whale can be great wolf silver fox Blurring Doctopus isn't amazing to have early, but it does exist. Macaque would be kind of cool if I have um, <laughs> these separate. But now, I think I'm going to get rid of the Surgeon Fish. I don't like it that much. So I'm going to do this by both of these and then a Avocado. I'm going to leave the Lettuce, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. All right, let me get to roll twice. And <laughs> so we'll, we'll be buying more of those. Although, maybe I do do it this turn, because again, I would be buying it anyway, and we don't really need to save the money if I'm going to buy this immediately, so... Yeah, we'll just buy that as it is. I will be throwing that just to the front, because I really don't want it to die. And yeah, Guinea Fowl is really far back, but... As long as we get, like, one trumpet from it, I won't complain too much. And that was awful. That was, like, the worst trades we could have got. Yeah, we're going to lose some HP here. Shame. Okay. Test me, squeeze me. Quality name, though. Your cat is old and a pain in the ass. I mean, Suki's old as well. I don't know how old she is, though. She's she's at least 10, so she is old, but she doesn't act old. It's strange. <laughs> Aloha, hello. All right. Uh, yeah, we're definitely combining the penguins now. We need to see. And a wolf, sure. There's no reason not to take a wolf. So we'll be throwing that to the back. Uh, I probably do buy some bananas as well. Just because they are very big. Yeah. Have one of these. You can also have one of these. And then, I don't care about the falcon. It's fine, but I don't care. And an antelope? An antelope would be amazing, I'll be honest. Okay, let's get rid of the guinea pal. I don't like that too much. This will, like, keep us alive for a long time. And I may just let the magpie have the rest. Yeah. Yeah, we'll send it that way then. Maybe should have frozen a cherry, or <laughs> bought a cherry. I keep forgetting that cherry exists, because I rarely do the this type of build. <laughs> what do you mean, doesn't act old? I don't know, she's just like... 
I, like, I've heard stories of people that have had cats, like, old cats, and they just kind of stop moving. I don't mean that in a sad way, but it's just like, you know, they just kind of... I don't know, they, they change. I haven't noticed her change. Like, she always sleeps a lot. <laughs> it always has, but it's still, like, very chirpy and looks cute. All that stuff. I don't think of her as, an, like, an old lady cat. One of your cats is 18 or something? Oh, my God. I've heard stories, but... <laughs> Cherry's amazing prantalope. I know it like doubles the ability. At least at level one. So yeah, we'll take one of those. I'm freezing a banana, but I don't know if I care, but I also don't care about anything else. Like an avocado is fine. Because then we can just save extra money. But yeah, let's roll it. Alright. Well, we're buying this. I will roll a few more times. The question is whether I buy an avocado here. Because I could buy avocado and then we still get to save two gold. So then next turn we'll get like 14. And honestly, I doubt we're going to lose, so I think investing in the future is probably a better idea. <laughs> OMG is the cat person. I didn't even, like, check the <laughs> Discord after I posted it. I just posted it and ran. Hey, good monkey trades. And we're generating stuff so much faster than... Look at this. Our guy is so much bigger. <laughs> Wasted summon. Oh, then with the fountain, yeah. I was, I was scared. I thought I'd done something wrong. Hey, all right. What would I even want out of this? I mean, a bear is obviously amazing. Uh, probably not doing that. I'm wondering what this is actually good with. Like, I know it could be fine with Warthog, but I've, I've like never seen anyone run it well. <laughs> Cobra, Cobra is not good if you're not like spam summoning. And honestly, I'm probably just sticking with the antelope here. We can probably just cruise if I just, like, buy a slug or something. Let's, like, freeze slug and look for a white whale. Not bad either, but I think we just buy it as it is for now. Uh, I, I could take a nurse shark, but I still feel like summoning, summoning a big thing is worth more than doing some big snipes. Maybe try the dog in the back. The dog? Oh, the, uh... What, wait, you mean this dog or the wildebeest? So I, I, I don't know. I've tried this once, and I think I did get a win with it, but I didn't... I don't know. I don't know how I'd scale it, so it won't really be doing much of a buff. And can we get a Cobra build sometime today? Maybe. I don't... Again, this isn't the build, because I don't know how to scale with <laughs> this team. Like, if I if I somehow pivot to, like, uh, Bird of Paradise or something, then there's scaling there. Same with Octopus, Catfish, but... With the stuff I have at the moment, I don't really see it happening. I think you'd have to get, like, early baboons, maybe. Keep them on the team. Jump in the back for more attack on your Goldie. Oh, it wouldn't be for the Goldie. That'd be for, like, all these. Like, <laughs> the rest of the janky summons. Yeah, let's roll. Uh, yeah, whatever. We don't need we don't need the extra gold. <laughs> I don't need the octopus either. Uh, I'll give you one more roll. Hey, and we have a level up next turn. Excellent. I'm not going to bother with the Vaquitas. Obviously, it is pretty good, but... Yeah, we don't need it. We're fine. Shout Baco out. Wait, why? Oh, because it's their B day. I already said happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday again, Baco. Oh, that's a good point. I forgot there was a shout out there. Uh. Work. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. There you go, Baker. <laughs> Sorry, I, I've never actually used that command before and it didn't like autofill, so I was scared. How's everything going? Going okay. I'm just tired. I'm, I might end the stream a bit early today. I'm definitely not going to run late. <laughs> run sub to Baker. It's true, Baker streams. Although you are a doubter. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a Highland cow. It's fine. Uh, oh, I don't know. Like, we can probably just ride this. And I think I'd rather do that. And I know I can do this and we do get an extra summon, but I would much rather find white whales and replace at least one of these slugs. Come on, give me something. I'm not, I'm not buying these. Okay, there we go. Uh, I will keep a slug here. I'm not going to, like, pivot off to only white whales, so I'm fine slapping two together. And I could do this. We get, like, one summon this turn, but I don't care. I'd rather... 
I'd rather save my gold, so we'll do that. Let me change the order to this, though. And hydration. Texas game on. Thank you. <laughs> I've not been drinking enough today. See, they, they do get to get a load of um extra trumpets anyway, but that's why I don't like the Nurse Shark. Because it can do some super high damage attacks, but if it doesn't hit important things or there's loads of summons afterwards, then <laughs> it just does nothing. It just gets you killed. Alright, oh, maybe I do do a second one. I can maybe get rid of the Magpie. Get rid of Magpie, buy White Whale, because there's no reason to save gold anymore because we're already past. You know, we're already at tier 6. No shock, Cherry's a broken thing. How would that work? That wouldn't do anything though, right? Cherry, give one pet the Cherry perk. Gain one Trumpet whenever this gains any Trumpets. And then that spends Trumpets, so it shouldn't be gaining anything. Drink water, I did. Okay, anyway, I'm going to get rid of the magpie. We don't need this anymore. I'm going to buy this. And we're rolling for slugs. We can maybe take a pretzel, because that's not bad to just buy on them. Well, sort of, actually. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to buy one just for the stats now, but I don't care about what it eats. So that's just so it has something. But we need to roll for, like, tomatoes, I think, for the front two. Okay, yeah, don't care about eating any of this. Uh, we can get the banana on one of them. Like, we can t we can do it with one more summon, I think. Alright, come on. Give me something. Something worth summoning. And that is very worth summoning. Uh, <laughs> hello, bear. Okay, so that's already eaten something, so I may feed this one instead and then swap the order. I think that's fine. Alright, so now I need to decide what I'm doing with this chocolate. Or the bear. I could maybe swap swap off antelope because we don't actually have a, a a trumpet team at the moment, so we can maybe go scum instead. <laughs> we'll see. Do tiger no shark? No, there is no tiger. No tiger in the pack, but also no shark scares me. I swear, like most of the time I see it, it doesn't help. And also, we we're gonna lose here, I think. They have a lot of trumpets. I don't know, maybe we'll get enough. No, because this is huge! <laughs> Wait, we're actually getting countered by a lizard? This is my first time seeing this. I think I'm gonna lose, yeah. Also hydrate. I literally did! If I if I say it, then I did it. What should I have to say about that? It's not to draw. Guys, I hydrated! If I say if I if I say I saw it, then it it has been done. Alright. But yeah, I'm gonna abandon this. I'd rather, I'd rather scum. <laughs> I'd rather bear scum. Uh, I mean, I could try and level one up, but I don't really see a good reason for it. So I think I'm gonna pass on that. Like, I'd much rather level the grizzly or feed this guy something better, which is going to be a slug. Oh, leveling the grizzly. All right. Yeah. No. Still. <laughs> still no. Uh, pizza breads. I could maybe put it on the grizzly bear. There's probably not that many better things to throw on there. If I can keep it alive. But it's only going to be like eight stuff. Should have eaten the grizzly? No. I don't eat grizzlies here, okay? Uh, I am wondering if I should like throw a slug to the front or something, though. I'm going to change the order to this, just so we can maybe get off more bear triggers. Because if, if we have... Well, actually, no. I should have thrown the slug right to the front. If we run into a similar team and they have smaller stuff than us... Then they'll get more bear triggers before we do. Okay, please. Let me kill their bear before he kills mine. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. We might have died anyway, because once they summoned their massive thing, it would have been... It, it would have been, like, the last thing alive, and we wouldn't have, um... Many more bear triggers going, probably. Unless we, like, really wipe them out. Uh, but yeah, we, we don't need any of this. Banana again. I could banana one of these. Just banana you. Might as well. All right. And yeah, no banana for you. I, I, I just don't know. Like, do I buy this or do I freeze? Roll once. If we find better food, no. If we find better food, then it eats the bear. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna buy this this turn. We can't die, so that's fine. Hey, yeah. Keep going there then. All right. Hold your ground, team. 
You finally bought the new PC part. Oh, exciting. Uh, yeah, we, we lost some summons there. Also, again, front falcon. <laughs> Look how many things they're losing. Although that may be because we sniped a wolf behind it and pushed it to the front, but yeah. We got outplayed by their bear. Very unfortunate. If you had the money equal to the number of credit card, how much money would you have? What does that mean? That makes no s- Oh, you're asking for my credit card number? Haha, <laughs> no. I can't- I, I'm buying it, but I can't tell what saves this run. <laughs> I think we might just be dead, honestly. I was- like, I don't think we've seen a tomato or a slug, and that's like all I've been rolling for. I've been taking the grizzlies because it is an improvement, but... Yeah, we just haven't been seeing the things. I don't think I've seen any, like, extra wolves, either. I don't know if I'm just going crazy, but it doesn't feel right. How many, the, how many bulls does the Void need until it's full? That's the real question. Aw, I'm losing so many summons. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, there we go. This team's not going to be a problem, probably. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Tell the bear to snipe the bear. That's what I've been doing. But if I had a tomato, then we could just snipe it with a tomato instead. Like, I, I guess I do do this, but it doesn't make us that much stronger. Alright. A pretzel. I could, like, pretzel this, but again, I'd much rather get the tomato on it. And if I find the slug first, then that means I don't want a tomato and then have to feed it some other food and eat something else. That made, like, no sense, but in my head I know what I'm doing. Maybe I just do this. <laughs> we probably do need this, just try and keep it alive, and saving 11 damage is probably more than it'll protect from another bear. Depends what level it is, though. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it is potato. Yeah, we're not actually going to be scaling this very easily, so maybe I do buy potato. Not that I can see any. Uh, <laughs> Do I die if I don't buy this tomato now? I think I buy the tomato now, because I can always just feed it some, like, stat food, and it won't replace that, and then we can be fine. So I'm going to do this. So yeah, you have that. Snipe a big bear, please. And then we need to find a potato for this and a slug in the shop and, I don't know, a pretzel for this or something. There are things we can do. What does the onion do? The onion, it, it kind of pushes in your own team. Okay, well, that didn't matter. We might lose here because those are big damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's just sniper teams countering the sniper teams, but they had more scaling than us. Uh, but yeah, onion, it... When it's, like, at the front of your team, it bounces one space back. I don't know how to describe it. You'd have to see it in action, but yeah. Anyway, uh, eight trophies. Not bad for the first run. Also, we're, like, half an hour in. Was that actually the first run? Does the game just, like, go a lot slower? Six more wins, yes. Reverse door head ant, basically. Alright. Start the next one, then. Okay, let's let's try for a scaling build this time then. And honestly, I'm probably just like taking all of this. So yeah, yeah, like this. And we will be the loose pants. It's though probably because you're playing summons Kino. That might be it. Yeah. <laughs> I also think I'm not at you know 200% or whatever it is. Oh no, we got counted by a goose. <laughs> well, we lost HP. Oh, but that means I can't, like, throw around for magpie greed. But I kind of want to do it anyway, because I'd rather have tier 2s than janky tier 1s. So, I think we buy a possum. What, buy possum, buy bacon? That could be our turn. Right, so... This seems okay to me. Did they change the original snake's look? I don't think so. I don't know, I haven't seen the snake for a long time. If you're talking about the purple snake we just went against, that's a new pet. It's the, <laughs> the python or something? I'm not sure what it's called. This is a new pack though, so there's no old stuff in And there we go, we got our HP back. Uh, Doorhead Ant. Possibility. Maybe. There aren't that many things at this tier that I like. Like, I do love the penguin. I would love to try a stoke game. Arbok, <laughs> yeah. A lot of people saying Cobra, so I guess that is what it is. It is indeed a Cobra. Thank you, no love your videos. Got my first two wins yesterday, thanks to you. Waffle, congratulations! 
And thank you. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with this. You have 11 gold, gain 2-2. Two, two. Like, this is okay. We do have magpies. So I can, like, maybe ditch something. I like, get rid of the goose, buy this. Let's try the gazelle. I never run gazelle. And let's see if we can find more, maybe. Ooh. Hold on, yeah, we're combining. All right, meerkat. Wait, we actually have kind of have something going here. The problem is I can't get everything at the same time because I do also want the penguin. Unless I just buy the meerkat and then roll once. Then <laughs> hit the magpie spend the gold so we get some extra stuff here. I think that's okay. It's not going to trigger yet anyway. I don't care about leveling this. Like, we're okay without. I'll rearrange it a little bit. Money? Yeah, money build. I never do the meerkat because I, I swear I never find them. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I don't see them as often. At least, like, early game. And, you know, if you're going to have them, then you probably want them early. How does the new life system work? There are four hearts. You lose one for every loss, regardless of, like, what tier you're at. But on rounds three and five, you regain a heart if you've lost some. And they'll actually like, show up differently as well at the end of the game. So, like, if you have, like, a, you know, quote-unquote perfect run, so you, like, finish with four lives... Uh, if you lost a life and regained one, one of them will have, like, a little patch on it. So you can see if you, like, lost any. Anyway, yeah, the question is whether I... Penguin, because next turn we definitely want meerkats. I'm debating how long I want the gazelle for. I think next turn we want, like, weasels. Weasels, meerkats, maybe baboons. I think... I think we just get rid of this. Just don't... Don't hit this. Don't hit that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, another penguin. Don't mind it. Kind of tempted to sell this just to <laughs> guarantee we don't hit it. That's a good hit. Uh, one more roll. More magpies. I'm probably not going to try and get that to level 3. Like, it may be worth it for the, you know, the 1-1 one, one buff, because scaling's kind of scarce in this. Like, there is baboon, but... Yeah. I think I'll leave that. I doubt we're keeping it for the whole game, because although it does work with Meerkat, it's not actually gaining money. Like, it gets the triggers, but we can just get stuff like the weasel that actually gives us more money so we can just spend it instead of it just, like, effectively being more money. Uh, I'm going to change the order to that, though. Hey, not a bad hit, but now it would have been better for the Silk Moth to be, like, one back. Oh, and I forgot about that thing, too. Oh, the trades were safe. It's a small pivoting system. I don't know. Oh, loads of good things. Alright, we definitely get rid of this. I think I do buy Weasel first, because out of everything here, I'd rather the Penguin buff either hit the Weasel or the Meerkat. So I'm going to do that. Don't care about that. It hit the Weasel, excellent. Uh, yeah, we won't be doing this. I need to find more Meerkats, more Penguins, more Weasels. Those are like the only things. The question is whether I try and <laughs> level this, but probably not. Oh, sorry, I mean I probably do. I probably don't sell something instead. So yeah, let's just take this. Buy it where it is. We only have two level threes. It's not bad, and I think I'll freeze it, but I don't know. Roll once. Uh, yeah, freeze this. I guess we are doing a gazelle. Let's see if we can get a gazelle, maybe. I haven't, like, gone for any achievements for a long time. Let's see if we can make that work. Hey, <laughs> the weasel's getting so big. I love the door head ant when it's like second position because it still does the little jump as if it was jumping to the front. Even though it's already there. Stop. We don't need more magpies. Maybe if you hit it again, I'll invest. No, this is too big. We have to keep that. The question is whether I am keeping lettuce though. I'd rather roll for weasel and make it. I'd keep one of these frozen, but. Come on. <laughs> okay, we just buy this. We buy this, save the other two gold. I'm going to unfreeze this, I think. That's a fine hit, but... Kind of sad we haven't managed to level it or anything. Dude, these things have, like, magnets. <laughs> it's working so well. And Flubber, howdy. Welcome up. Yeah, good team. If I get this to level 3, I can probably just give it loads of, um... Whatever the food is to make it trigger. Waffles. And that would probably be worth it. For 4-2, like a random 4-2, I don't know how much I like it unless I sold the magpie and the meerkat. But eh, level 3, I could definitely be convinced. 
Uh, I think I do buy some of these because bananas, they're just, even if there's no synergy for the summon, it's still an extra 4 4 in the fight, which is like a huge difference. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. I still don't care about this. I, I, I want to pivot off this eventually. Come on. Freeze it, but we roll. I want to see if I can get to level up this turn. Uh, we can, but then we won't save as much money. So we lose like one trigger. But we can like trigger it this turn anyway, so it probably doesn't make that much of a difference. I think we just go for the level up first. I need to see what that is. It's a nerf shark, I do not care. I didn't like that buff either, but yeah, we'll be fine. And yes. I actually didn't need to save my gold there. It is a better idea too, because I have stuff frozen in the shop, but the weasel would have got us the gold we needed for the uh, gazelle trigger, so. Yeah, there were reasons for and against. Can't you give the pet you want to buff with a blueberry? I think you may be thinking of um, donuts, which I don't think is actually in the game yet. Which is kind of funny because I <laughs> got the recent patch, like the whole point was that it was going to be in the game. Anyway, I'm going to buy that. I'll go for the level up, but we're getting very close to being able to swap in a bird of paradise instead. Come on. Uh, uh, I think we just buy them. I don't know if I'm going to find one, and I, I think the stats are pretty, pretty helpful. Although I don't love where they went. Like, everything landing on the magpie is kind of janky. What does the donut do? This is all from, like, hearsay. Because I, I don't actually know what it does, but I've heard someone say that it's, like, the anti-blueberry. So, blueberry makes your... Your pets get targeted by random abilities on the enemy team. But donuts may be... It makes your... Your pets target each other? I, I don't know how to describe this. Like, if you have an otter or something, you'll hit the thing with the donuts. That's what I think it is, but I haven't actually seen it. And what's the new health update today? I don't think so. I don't think there's been an update. Like, this was the same system that was on, like, Friday. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we're rolling. I could maybe buy an avocado, but again, we're already at tier 5. It's not really a reason to. The question is whether I, like, push for this. I wish this scaled with how much extra money you have. Instead of just, if you have one extra gold, then you get, like, a, you know, a set buff. But I'm debating whether I try and level it, because, like, we can maybe go for the gazelle, like, level 3. Seems interesting, at least. And there are good things here, like a crane or something would be really cool. But, oh, never mind. <laughs> we have this instead. Uh, German Shepherd. I'm pretty tempted to just buy this as it is. Like, this is still level 1. Like, we lose 2 trigger... Like, not triggers, but 2 notches out of the 12 if I buy this now. But we do get the trigger anyway, because that will give us gold. So I think, honestly, we just buy this as it is. Alright. Uh, yes, yes, no, I'm pretty happy. Oh, <laughs> German Shepherd never gets used. It's because you need to scale him, and the scaling in this pack is weird. Like, Baboon is good, uh, Bird of Paradise is good. I just, I, I don't know, I never get the Baboon setups. I always have, like, weird other stuff going on, and by the time I find my first Baboon, it's like, you know, <laughs> tier 4 or 5. Uh, like, again, there's good things here. Like, just throwing in a wolf instead of the meerkat is just good in terms of stats and everything. But I think we continue rolling. Like, yeah, chocolates or something. Yes. Island cow, do not care. Uh, we're keeping the gazelle and the weasel, but by pumping the weasel, we get more gold for stuff like, I don't know, stuff for other things. Warthog, again, we don't have a good way to scale this. I, I think we leave it. We need to just roll for, like, birds of paradise next turn, wherever those are. Uh, there we go, we have a gazelle level up as well. Okay. Could maybe go for catfish scaling with the penguin. That's also a possibility. Scale gem shepherd and then spam cobras. <laughs> Probably could. Wait, does German shepherd work in the shop? Oh, close fight. I need to see. What is the German Shepherd thing? Friend summons, give it... It does! Damn! Okay, that completely changes everything, because I didn't think of it like a turkey. I always thought of this just as a in-battle thing, so I was like, not that good. But if this is like a pivot enabler, then... That may be really good. Stop giving me warthogs. Alright, Birds of Paradise. I, I don't know, Catfish. I don't even know if I can get rid of this. I want to get rid of it, but it's so 
It, it feels like it's stuck on my team. No, I need to pitch bread this. Maybe same there. I, I don't know how like long I'm keeping things. I pitch bread for this and this. Makes sense. I want to get rid of the magpie, but I think this is an okay middle ground for now. And then, I don't know. <laughs> Do I buy six threes? It's fine, but if I just find Birds of Paradise, then we can scale up so much better. Like, we have four, four lives. We're running flawless at the moment, kind of. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take one of these at least. So you can have that. Uh, we'll just end the turn, I suppose. Okay. And this is a very small team. Are they relying on this to get huge? <laughs> I don't know if I've just been like scaling better than I thought. And pretzel, we have a tier one. I don't know about the other things. This is also not getting to level three. Like I could do it, but it's not worth the investment, I feel. Nunky <laughs> Tuckman, hello. Hope you're having a good day. Let's roll. Birds of Paradise, please. I'm desperate. I don't want to scale with the penguin anymore. I'm debating like selling it to the night by selling octopus. Because like, it's fine. I don't want to have to use this in catfish and waffles. It's, it's too janky. Let's just roll a bit more, just please. Bird of Paradise, anywhere. Anyone? Catfish. Uh, we get like two turns out of it though. <laughs> No, no catfish. Okay, I'm just gonna stop buying stuff then, because this is not it. Alright, swap those two around again, send it. Avocados, avocados are decent value, just because the uh, meerkat's on the team. But it's, it's not good. I don't know why I said decent value, it's still bad value, but it's, it's fine. Isn't Penguin useless now? Uh, no, because you can buy waffles. If you buy a waffle, then it activates the buy ability. So like, this thing is a, you know, it's like a three gold random six, a plus six, plus three. So it's still fine, but it's like, it's my only scaling. Like this thing is only triggering like once per turn. And again, if I like buy a waffle, then it's, you know, <laughs> it's like doubling our scaling. This is why I'm rolling for a, a whatever it's called, Bird of Paradise. Like it make it so much easier. I also could have like swapped this out for a, uh, the catfish, but I didn't want to do that. Okay, I probably do put this on here. I'm not going to bother leveling it. Like, if I'm buying this, it's for the 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I think that's an improvement, so I'll buy this. I mean, maybe I do get rid of it. Buying and selling this instead of that is kind of cool. Then we can buy sell this as well. Oh, yeah, I should have been careful there. I should have sold it before rolling. I didn't realize that was at the cap, but I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, no. No, I'm not taking the penguin either. Where? Where is this thing? I'm free- no! <laughs> I don't know what to do! Birds of Paradise don't exist. Used to do Dodo Crab. I never really used either of those. To make our triggers in one turn. I know, right? Crazy. <laughs> I can do this. We're probably keeping the meerkat now. He's pretty big. Big chunky. I, ju I just can't tell if this stays on the team or not. Like, at this stage, is it even worth getting the Bird of Paradise? It is if we start losing. Bird of Paradise, please. Don't get buffed. We sell this, right? I just sell it for, like, a cuttlefish. No, because that only hits one thing. But if it hits something with... I don't know, pit pit it doesn't replace Pitterbread. That just gets used up immediately. I feel like there isn't that much good equipment that this could replace. But this will trigger if I roll two times. Okay, let's just like freeze the magpie then. I'll just like let the thing go. So it might hit that, but yeah. Alright, safe. Penguins or African penguins? Uh, oh, that's a good question. If they, Yeah, if they meant the regular penguin, then I still disagree. But yeah, it's a different, different question. Also, we're losing HP to like... Three stats. That's not good. I'm selling this now. It needs to be gone. Okay, like this. Why? <laughs> Why don't Birds of Paradise exist? Thank you. It's so late. 
It's so late for Bird of Paradise. Uh, now, do I buy the avocado or do I roll kind of hard and hope to level it? I think I roll kind of hard and hope to level it. I can't get rid of anything anymore. Everything's too big. I can't use this oyster. Come on. Somewhere. Okay, well, there's the level up. I can't even buy this turn, but we do get to save two gold, so that's something, I guess. Uh, I'll leave everything else where it is. <laughs> I just drew against you? Wait, did I? Didn't I just lose, or am I losing my mind? Oh, I hate that. I <laughs> had a 50 attack thing, so we couldn't... Yeah, it, like triple traded. That did not feel good. All right, so now the question is whether I just like buy stat food because everything already has okay equipment, barring this. Like I could just give that to Tomato and throw it to the front, but yeah, we probably want to buy this. We want to buy no, no pretzels because that's tier one. This is probably the best thing I can buy then. Yeah, I think we just take this then. So I'm gonna put it on here because that's going to be a while until it's like capped out. Or maybe buy meerkats. I could maybe go for the level up. We could maybe get, like, these two achievements. Frozen. You have to roll twice. Alright. Uh, yes, everything can stay where it is. I could maybe swap those two around, but I still want... Oh, hold on. I need to let my cat out. One minute. I'll just click to get the fight going. We beat a bear team. Nice. <laughs> also, Phoenix? Was that you? Am I blind? I only saw it, like, at the end. But we're buying a tomato. We're throwing a tomato and throwing it, like, right to the front, I think. So we'll do this. It may be the last turn, but I'm going to see if I can get that leveled up anyway. And then <laughs> another tomato. I mean, maybe? Because, like, this is going to be scaling... Not once more. If we lose, then we do get more. I could maybe freeze it, but let's let's see if we can get this. <laughs> okay, literal last roll. The smart thing to do probably isn't to buy this right now, because then we get slight, slight some, some magpie value, but we're buying it right now. Like, if we win, then I need to. <laughs> I need it. Okay, now, best order. I'm just going to do it like this, like... Again, if I know my weasel's at the back, so um, if we win, then I don't get any money. But if we win, the game ends. So I, I think I'm fine with it. <laughs> I think I'm okay. They changed Pitta Bread? They did, yeah. Oh my god, they replaced it. Okay, so we got the value of the Pitta Bread, but they do all have weakness. And there is like a wolf and stuff. I think we'll be okay, though. It's 1016. You better hope to win fast. What are you talking about? I had good scaling. I was fine. But hey, look at that. We got the meerkat and the gazelle. I don't even know what the temporary stats on this were like, but... In fact, no, we must have had some. I don't know. Alright, <laughs> though. There we go. And hey, look, there's one of the new HP things. So this is a heart that we lost and then regained on turns 3 or, f or, three or 5. Not bad, not bad. How are you still the current hype train conductor? You literally did a gift sub multiple streams ago. Just, just keep it. You can have it. And I can't remember... Oh, yeah, pizza bread. Okay, so... Never mind. Terry already explained it. Okay. You can regain hearts. Yes! On rounds 3 and 5, if you lose HP, then you get one back. That's the new system. You start with 4, lose one for every loss, regardless of the round and number of pets and everything. But if you have lost one on turns 3 or 5, or before then, then you can regain one. 